world, he has no interest. He has no interest whatever to gain by the actions that he has done and none to be gained by the actions that he has not done. He does not depend on all these beings for any interest of his. So for such a person, there is no meaning behind doing anything and also no reason to do nothing. So for, for this type of person, there's no selfish relationship with any other creature. And this is the state that such a person will achieve. There's no reason for him not to do anything. And there's also no reason to do not to do anything. So then, how does such a person work? This state can be understood by a really nice example um, about how we can achieve this state. And we think that we can achieve this state um, when we see our whole lives as useless. But actually, you know, we think, oh, um, we don't need to do this, it's all negative, we don't need, um, you know, we get sorrows, so we don't need anything, we don't need people, we don't need relationships. But actually, that's, that's what immediately comes into our mind when we think about detachment. But that's not actually what detachment really is. There's various different types of detachment. So you can have detachment from objects, d detachment from um, people, um, and these sort of temporary states always come. You know, after you've gained a lot of objects, sometimes they become useless to you because... Um, you know, you've got so many of them that you don't really need them, and then they don't become meaningful to you anymore. And then with regards to sort of someone dying and feeling attachment to that person, um, you feel that it's very dear because that person's passed away, and, um, you know, you feel a bit shaken because you've lost that person, and you think that your world has no meaning. You spent all your life with that person, you've had a lot of fun together, you've talked and walked together, you've travelled together, and now that person's gone. And life then feels meaningless without that person. In all these cases, there was like a stimuli, and the person had that reaction. And the state sort of comes to all great personalities, and um, the state that actually comes to all great personalities is not necessarily a reaction to some stimulus, but it's actually a constant feeling, which is similar to, to what we looked at earlier, where you have no pleasure or pain, and you're able to, um, you know, not complimenting or criticizing food, but being able to be balanced. It's a constant feeling, and it's out of understanding. So the example I was talking about, which was quite beautiful, is... Um, if you pour water into the sea, then the sea doesn't start shaking, it doesn't get disrupted. Um, you know, if after a few days there's a monsoon, then it doesn't necessarily affect the amount of water that's in the sea. And if a river takes water out of the sea, then it doesn't sort of affect the amount of water in the sea. The amount of water in the sea never increases or decreases, it's constant. And that's the state that great personalities will have, and that we should also endeavour to um, achieve this state. A great personality is like the sea. And there's a really beautiful verse similar to this verse in the Gita, um, in the Yog Vashishta Ramayan, where um, Vashishta Ji is actually giving a message to Sri Ram, and it's got a really beautiful spiritual meaning. And it is, Nashita Karma Tyagi Narta Karma Samashya Vahi, Te Nastitam Yata Yagdag Tata Teva Karota So. And that means a knowledgeable person has no interest in doing any work or in not doing any work. Wherever he is, and in whatever circumstance he is, then he works according to that. So such a person does work very naturally. It's not that we shouldn't be doing any work, and that we should also just be doing lots of work. It's that it should come to us very naturally. Um, you know, he's got no reason to work, and therefore he doesn't really change. He works, but he's got no wish for the fruits of the work, and he works with a steady mind, similar to the river. You know, it just continues as it is, and he has this understanding. So, to take a simple example, if you imagine that there's a theatre play where there's an actor who's like a gambler or a card player, and in one single scene, he becomes an overnight millionaire in the play, and he goes to live in a really nice mansion, he's got a lot of friends coming around, he hosts loads of parties, and in this play, when the pe person becomes an overnight millionaire, he doesn't necessarily become more happy in his own life. Um, you know, he knows that it's a three-hour play. He knows what it is. <coughs> even if he loses all his money in one scene in the play, he won't even be extra sad because, again, he knows that he's performing this. And it's just his part in the play. So if he wins a million or loses a million, it doesn't really make a difference. He knows the reality. And he knows that once the play finishes, he's only just going to take home the 500 rupees in his wallet that he gets paid. So whether he wins or loses millions in the play, in reality, he only has 500 rupees to work with in his wallet. So in the same way, great personalities have understood life to be a play. And they know that whatever circumstances they're in, they just have to play a part in the play. And this is, um, echoes the previous verse that we did where um, one of the characteristics um, of a godlike person was someone who sees their life as a play and participates in life as a play. Um, so... The last, the last mantra is Rahi Savan Nirlejagat Hi Vachovach Maria Patrahi Ke Bhajvi 
Padeva, wherever, and this actually means wherever we ended up in the world, there we just played the parts that we had to play. So such a person just plays the parts they have to play and is un not affected by it. Such a person has no interest in performing any actions and no interest in, perform in not perform performing any actions. And this is the state that such a person has. So I'll say that again because it can get confusing. Therefore, such a person has no interest in performing any actions and no interest in not performing any actions. So they're a stable state. This is the state that such a person has. And Sri Krishna is telling Arjun that he should perform his work in this way. And that brings us to the end. <laughs>